Hello, kit heads. We are talking kit, the home of the greatest ever football kit content in the whole entire world. I've done it again. There's too many words in them sentences. I am Double A, as always, your host for this evening. And we are back. It's Wednesday, around about six o'clock. And it's time to delve straight into the rank bank for 10 more shirts that I have sent out into the kit community and got five people to rank them and send me their scores back. Three of those people are here right now. Let's get meeting them and speaking to them. First up is obviously GK Sean. We all okay? Really good, yeah. Thanks for having me again. I, I mean, you know, you, you you don't have to. You don't have to thank me. It's your channel. Hey, your, na- your name's on the door. Like you don't have to thank me for. It's like, it's like, yeah, but it's like, thank, it's like thanking me for you walking in your own house. You don't have almost to do like that. Uncle like... Nobed. I know. Almost like Uncle Nobed. Thanks for. Let me still be part of the family. Yeah, well, we've come this far, Sean. I probably will never get ready by now. Oh. Talking a little bit off air, let's see your new uh, Stockport County third shirt. So, this came today. Or was it yesterday? No, today, along with the home shirt. Got this really mm-hmm. groovy ripple pattern down the down the little stripes. Um, I've, I've fallen in love with it already. I'll be honest. I think of the three you've released, that's my least favourite. It reminds me of a Liverpool shirt. That's why, I have to say. Um, from like 2010, 11. Yeah, the black one with the orange or yellow, even. If it, I'll, I'll send you a picture, Chris, and you'll you'll see which one I mean. I know the one. one. I know the one. Yeah, terrible. That's why I can't like, I like it. But the other two, I, I like the 50 50 color as well. Oh, mm. good thing. Good thing Jay's not here. He'd be having you off for that. He don't. He's not. He, can you get enough of yourself? Dare you? Or, or what? what? You talking about me? Yeah, yeah. Give it oh, I just had a haircut. I had a haircut as well today. Oh, he's he's feeling himself. That's what it is. Looking nice. Giving the audience what they want. Well, if if what they what want, what they never it. asked for. Yeah. What if they want is a man in his his mid to late thirties just checking himself out in a camera? Then that's exactly what we're giving him right now. There's four that's of us doing. That's, that's what the fuck should, should, should I do? It? Should I do it? Hugh Edwards? Should I do it? Hugh Edwards? Well, I'll take thirties. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't do, do it. Looks like don't don't you. Know, going down there. It's obviously uh, he's all the way from the kingdom. It's Kit Kingdom. Uh, <laughs> how we doing, mate? I love in the new uh, new backdrop. You're looking very professional mate. now. Hey, well, look. If I'm gonna, it's either this or OnlyFans, and I've not yet found my niche in in that area. Uh, no one wants to see me trying to eat uh, Biscoff biscuits out of my own bum crack. Uh, as much as I might try and pedal it, they're not. It's. I, I think I'm. I'm ahead of the market at the minute. Uh, I'm like um, one Seb of Veron when he played for us. He was. He was way ahead of his time. In five, six years time, you'll be crying out for it. Uh, but yeah, otherwise all good. Yeah, uh, backdrop being a bit more professional, uh, only visually. Yes, of course. Yeah, I was going to say we, we took a weird turn. We just saying a nice backdrop there. Went all somewhere to Biscoff and OnlyFans. Well, that. But that's what we should expect from. Exactly. <laughs> but other than that, apart from the the crummy bum, you, you're all right, I guess. Yes, absolutely. Like all all good. Uh, been to recently the National Football Museum. They've got a new exhibition on batteries not included. That's not a only fans reference. Um, it's uh, it's in relation to gaming across century. Well, across decades. Uh, and they've got Our Time Is Now as an exhibition as well, which celebrates the Lionesses' successes last summer and feeds really well into into this coming tournament as well. So would advise anybody to go down there and check that out as well. He's back for his third appearance, I want to say. Hat trick. If not, he lives in my heart anyway, so it's like he's here all the time. I take him everywhere I go. Uh, it is obviously my favourite human in the kit community, you two don't be offended. It's Chris, obviously, who loves to chat shit. <laughs> Chris, hello, mate. It's been hello, a while. Mate. That's that's quite the build up. That's that's alienating uh Diamond Sean there, right? Yeah, hi. Right. Yeah, and rightly so. It's yeah. fine. Well, yeah, and I'm not human anyway. I'm not human. <laughs> He's Dom, subhuman. <laughs> also, Dom, you think on OnlyFans, you're saying that no one wants it. If no one wants it, why am I sending you fifteen pounds a month for it? <laughs> There is that. There is that. Keeping well, I mean, you in like Biscoff. Says all the Biscoff I can eat. But, you know. I'd hate to see what you do with a spread, come to mention. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Sorry. Okay, everywhere. Chris, are you okay? That's that's that was my next question. Uh, what? I said if I'm subscribing to Tom's well, own fans, apart from you, apart probably. from you, apart from your weird kinks, is everything else in? Oh God, that's not true. Um, oh, King Kingdom. Yeah, King, King <laughs> Kingdom. Yeah. So that's your, that's your that has to be your only fan's name now. <laughs> King King Dom, yeah, it's got to be appealing to all the dyslexics as well. Um, <laughs> they just ended up there, like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Where's um, AC Milan shirts? <laughs> filthy. The short answer is, yeah, I'm all right. If you want to see the extended version where he gives us a long answer, just wait, I will put that out. <laughs> <The> editor's <laughs> cool. <laughs> but if you're wondering why all of us, apart from Sean, are wearing shirts from Italian clubs, this week's theme is that of Serie A. I think now we're getting to that point where enough teams are releasing shirts. And we now do them episodes where we look at maybe specific leagues and their new shirts. And I've picked 10 from Serie A. Oh, I think at the time there was 15, 16 released. Uh, for 16 teams had released shirts, some home, <laughs> some away, uh, some both. So I've picked five home and five away. Nice split. And I think I've done... I've done a good 10. I had to do a, a last minute substitution for one specific shirt because I sent them dead early. I was really on it this week. I think Friday, Saturday, I sent Saturday, I sent them out. By Saturday night, Sunday morning, a new beautiful kit had come. So I said, right, I have to substitute one. I, I do apologize. Won't tell you which team I substituted for because I don't want angry fans in the comments saying, why have you done that to our shirt? Uh, but no, I sent them out to obviously the three chaps you can see in front of you. Jay from retro football kits and we also have another a new person to the channel come and rank shirts for us and that is mark o seria salasau so he is a collector of seria shirts as well as portugal as well so as you know the show is sponsored by retro football kits so you can head over to retrofootballkits.co.uk and you can get an extra 10 percent off what is already 15 percent off site wide using code TALKINGKIT10. I mean, they're already knocking 15% off uh, market value on shirts anyway. So go and get an extra cheeky 10% off with Talking Kit 10 Go and help yourself to all those glorious, glorious football shirts. They have literally thousands. So yeah, sent the shirts out to the five guys. They've sent me their scores back. I have now ranked them and we have got our definitive list. How did we all find ranking the shirts this week? Did we all have fun? There was a shocker and then the rest were... Fairly difficult to rank. I yeah, didn't appreciate uh, you throwing a fucking spanner in the works as well. I'll be honest. Um, oh, you, you definitely threw your tires out of the pram with that one. And now, here's the thing: I actually did appreciate that because, well, I, Rob will probably go into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank mm-hmm. you. Let's get into this week's show anyway, and our ten shirts. Right, we have two that are joint ninth straight away. I'll get that in. Both on fourteen points. So again, I always say it: if if shirts are above uh, ten. It means the scores are normally quite quite even and, and spread out. So, two joint. I, 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 it's hard to pick. You know, when it's two joint. I just go for the one I like least. I'll be honest with you. In the reason that I put it the first one you see. So, fourteen points. Joint ninth. Paul Pog is not going to like it. It's the new Juventus away shirt, bringing back the pink uh, and, and a grey. I guess Jay, who isn't here, had this in. Fifth, Jay like this one. Fifth place. He says he likes the design and Alps inspo. Uh, plus, Juve in pink always wins. I mean, it's not a lot of pink, Jay, but I get what you're saying. And our good, uh, well, our new friend, Mark, he had Juventus in seventh and he says, nice, but no need for lighting effect on sponsor. <laughs> Brings it down a lot for me. I think they've been killed for that last season as well. So, uh, obviously, they're promoting their electric cars, cheap. But fans don't seem to like it on their football shirts. Right, let's go through the rankers that are joining us today. And we will start with, let's start with Sean. Let's start with you. You had this one in, in ninth place. It wasn't your worst shirt. You said there was a shocker and all the others were all right. Was this the shocker? Uh, no, there was two shockers. Um, you lied. So then. this one, yeah. This one and everyone else is number one. Yeah, well, <laughs> which is how it usually goes, but um, yeah, horizontal stripes don't sit well with me with Juventus, and I just don't like the, the color combination together. Pastelli pink, I like the gray actually, but not with the pink. Maybe the black around the outside and the Adidas 
makes it look a bit like a cartoony border, which I don't mind. But no, I don't like it. There's nothing much to say about it, really. And I hate UV's crest. Anyway, the new one. Dom, I'll swiftly move on to you, mate. And this was your bottom shirt this week. Yeah, uh, and, and, and rightly so. Uh, I think the crest, I was definitely won over with uh, Stan Chow's uh, admiration for the simplistic... Oh, get out of it, Dom. You're acting like a Lotus Biscoff. Get out. <laughs> nothing, nothing. It, even if this had like more redeeming features, I don't like this shade of pink. Uh, obviously, I, I appreciate the, is it the Monta Rosa? Uh, and in the actual detail in the stripes, it kind of makes out like mountain ranges or those topical graphs that you'd uh, be sat through in like a boring geography lesson. Um, are quite decent in what their reference is to, but uh, UV do pink so much better, and that Jeep sponsor could never be anything but but bottom for me. It is fucking honking, and that's not a car reference. Um, but it is it is pretty pretty bad. I don't see. I obviously, I understand the transition through to EV. The sponsor ruins any any. Any UV shirt for me. It is, and again, no pun intended, absolutely shocking, you could say. Chris, finally on this one, from you, thank you very much. And it, again, you echo Dom's thoughts on it in 10th place. Yeah, it's just, I do, like what, what UV are doing with Adidas at the minute, it's, none of it is working for me. I appreciate that what they're trying to do is they're trying to do like these kind of bold, innovative designs, but it all feels like design by committee. It okay. feels like, one too many things on there you know have it be the pink and the gray but then don't add the mountain ranges you know put the jeep on it but don't add the lightning it just feels like they're just throwing a lot at every single one of their kits and it just this just does nothing for me and i, I would be surprised if someone looks at this and goes yeah that's one of uve's all times all time best kits it's just it's just nothing really, is it? But there we go. It is the Juventus away shirt for next season. Only getting 14 points, but, you know, it isn't dead last. It is joint. I'm really disappointed it's joint with this next shirt. Uh, again, 14 points. I thought this would be a little bit higher. And it is this. It's the Atalanta away shirt for next season. I just think it's nice. It's, it's simple. It's nice. It's very Atalanta. And I like that. But I didn't rank. So, it's you know, it's not up to me, is it, I guess. And Mark had this in ninth place. And he says... I don't mind this, but the pinstripes they previously had are so much better. Also, the old Greek runner badge should be there. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. And Jay from Retro had this one in also ninth. Weird collar is the only downfall. Yeah, he's a sucker for collars, is RJ. Uh, going through the rankers that are on your screens. Dom, let's start with you because it was eighth place for you on this. You screwed your face up when it was... Revealed, and I said I liked it. What's wrong with liking it? Just, well, uh, you're wrong. And oh, just, to, <laughs> just to agree with Jay, the colour, I just don't, I, I don't get it. Obviously, if it's got some kind of um, performance. You put your head through it. What a colour you put your head through. Mate, not with a Swede as big as mine. I have what? to go in through a different angle. Um, but no, um, there's there's a bit to like about it. I think, I think the sponsor looks too small, if anything. Uh, and I do like the contrasting black on one sleeve, blue on the other, and that kind of yeah. correlates with the Joma manufacturer's like logo and then the badge as well. Uh, I think that's even, a nice touch. Even the stripes down the side, you'll see a blue. No, on one but they're, they're, they're opposite. I think they should be. I like that. No, I, I don't like the fact that there's that much symmetry on one side and then that kind of goes against it. But uh, I think uh, the sponsor could do with maybe being a bit bigger, which is, is weird to say. Um, but yeah, the the collar more than anything else, it's just the collar. I do not like it at all. Okay, fair one. Uh, Chris, come to you next on it. And similar to Dom, it's almost like you've been copying each other's homework this week. You've had it in eighth place as well. well yeah, it, it's just bog standard, isn't it? You know that that neckline doesn't know what it wants to do. I like the badge. I think the badge is very kind of. What the the Weller badge? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Pantem Pro V badge. Yeah, uh, it makes me always want to wash my hair. Um, it just, it's for me. It's just trying to do a couple of things, and it's not doing any of them well. You know, the pin, 
it's a bit seems thick and it, I, I take it the pins both blue and black lines together isn't it yeah it's kind of half and half with you know the colors on on one side you know the blue line and the black line it just doesn't you know it just it screams kind of mid noughties sort of like the Ooh. home's okay but that that sponsor's not doing anything for anyone is it rough it's rough yeah it is rough Mate, I, I, lo I love the home love it that sponsor's it's terrible different to be honest. Yeah, get, get that, um, get that sponsor off it. It might go up a bit, but it's just also look at look at the cut of that the the pin on the guy in the bottom left. Oh like, yeah, you know, on the shoulders. Then it's up at the back again. Like we said with the the UV one, the 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 pin doesn't match on the sleeves. It's all yeah, it's just, yeah, a bit everywhere. All right, fair one, well, mate. Yeah, uh, Sean, let's finish off with you on this one. Seventh for you, not the worst. It's an average. Not the worst. No, it's an average kit. It's nothing offensive. Um, it's I like the crest, and I, I like the bit. It looks like the the wavy hair in that it's been like superimposed on the background. That's all I can say about it, really. It's not oh, do you mean you mean in between the stripes? Oh, sorry, yeah. I mean that's yeah, that, to be fair. If you go back to that original image, um, that is to be fair a really good point that uh, Sean's made. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's it, it's it's basic, but not horrible. All right, fair one. Uh, there we go. Then joint ninth as well this week. Fourteen points from our rankers. It's the Atalanta away shirt for next season. Moving on then to shirt number eight and seventeen points. Josh the Kitsman might be a little bit disappointed with this one, uh, just because he loves the uh, supplier for this shirt, uh, and it is the Salonatana away shirt. <laughs> with 17 points Dom is not happy but we'll have to wait for it to come to him uh, the rankers that aren't here Jay had this there's a reason why and Jay had it in bottom of his list um, the patterns look like the kit has been run over oh that's nice <laughs> that's, uh, and um, our good friend Mark had this in eighth uh, like the colour contrast just not as strong as other designs the reason why I say uh, Josh the Kitsman would love it is because he loves Zeus. He's, he's, you know, when he came on the channel the very first time, he was talking about Zeus a lot. Uh, and so I know he's a big fan. So if you saw this episode, Josh, I'm sorry, I don't rank anymore. It would have been a lot higher, mate. Don't you worry. Uh, let's go for the rankers that are here, though. And let's start with Chris. Let's start with you on this one. You don't agree that it's beautiful. And you think it's not great. It's ninth place for you this week. Yeah, just the the, the maroon and the light blue in the white it just just clashes for me it just it doesn't do anything for me and is I'm, i've not i'm i'm going to admit to maybe not doing as much research as i should have on it but like is this one of those patterns where it's different on every shirt as well or is Ooh. it i've not done as much research as it, maybe it, i should have done it, but it's, it's I, I really seems like it might be if we look at the other picture uh, well, it looks the same no, it looks um it's the same shirt, but it is just literally a wishy-washy pattern on it. Yeah. And I'm I like I love an unsponsored shirt, so that's got something for it, but I don't know. It just it just clashes for me. It just doesn't it doesn't do a lot for me, I'm afraid. Sorry. So it's not it's not sent from the gods. Sorry, on, sorry Dom. <laughs> uh, the only shirt as well I couldn't find was someone wearing it, so that's why I got this other picture as well. And I always like, you know, I think it always adds a little bit of an element when you can see on a real human. And not a ghost dummy. Uh, okay, Sean, next we will come to you. Uh, you got it spot on this week. Eighth place. What wasn't you feeling about this one? Um, it's, I, I'm not a fan of it. It's, it's only the fact that Juventus was worse. Um, okay. okay, I like the reference to the sea um, on the little background, but that's about it, really. Again, the maroon and light colours don't work. Oh, there's not enough maroon for that to work. Um that's it. Okay, fair. Uh, let's come to you then, Dom, uh, and you know, try and salvage some, try and give it a bit of a reasoning why people should like this because it was third place on your list. What? You really, you really did. I think mate. you really did. You really did stop it becoming bottom this week, mate. I think. Hey, absolutely, <laughs> and we're we're literally we're we're drowning in negativity here, and I think um, <laughs> it is um, by the power of Zeus. Um, I think um, I think you're completely wrong, and I think it. 
I think it is just literally as a, as with last week, and I, I admit to doing it myself. It's just that maybe you aren't as honest as I am. Um, <laughs> when it when it's not a like a, a commonplace manufacturer, um, you kind of like butt against it a little bit. Whereas you shouldn't like try try a couple of new things every now and again. Like the top of Brazil shirts, I was like, oh well, if it's not Nike or Adidas or blah blah blah. Um, but this, I've got loads of time for Zoo, so I'm definitely with Josh in that camp. Oh, and I think um, like a burgundy, like a like a deep blood red in the sea. It echoes like Jaws for me, <laughs> which is brilliant. <laughs> I, think, I think the the lightning bolts, which are framed really well in the continuation of the pattern, all too often we see loads of clubs go, we'll put a pattern on the body of the shirt, but we'll we'll leave the sleeves plain. Um, these have gone, well, no, we'll, we'll continue that. And I think it's framed really well. It's got good hanger appeal. And um, it, if it did have a sponsor that was kind of aesthetically pleasing and was maroon, uh, it would appeal to more people. But I think uh, I think it's a, a class manufacturer <clears throat> that do a lot of good stuff. Um, and I'm really keen to see how they get on in the future. Plus, what's that, like a flying fucking seahorse? Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I just think he's swimming really fast, if anything. Yeah, um, exactly. Well, that's funny you mentioned that because uh, hanger appeal was what they used to say about me when I played football as a kid. I was there. Uh, goal hanger. I saw. Uh, I sure would know being a goalkeeper. Uh, right. Well, there we go. Unfortunately, uh, I think what is a beautiful shirt myself and a big fan of Zeus, like like Dom says. I'd only come eighth place this week on our list, seventeen points overall from the rankers. Right. Let's get in to number seven. Uh, on our list, 20 points overall from our esteemed rankers. And it is this one. It's the Hellas Verona home shirt. I've got to be honest, guys. That last shirt is a lot better than this. Uh, you know, I, but, you know, again, I do not rank. Uh, let's go through the rankers that aren't here with us. Uh, and Mark had this in uh, fifth place. And he says about it, when I can find what he says about it, uh, he has said that it's smart. Uh, color contrast works well. The collar is lazy, though. I mean, it's a standard, normal. Look. And Jay from Retro, he has said about it. Quite nice, but sponsors are too big. He's put it in eighth place as well. Let's go through our rankers, Sean. We'll start with you on this one. It was sixth place for you. It's just a Hellas Verona shirt, right? That's right, with the old massive sponsor, like a Formula One shirt. Um, but I think I think it's all right to be honest. I like the the two two bull mastiffs again. Um, blue and yellow, I like it. Like the colours a lot. Um, again, it's a middle of the road shirt. I would wear it. It's better than my bottom four five. So, do you like it because it's a lot like the shirt you're wearing now with the same colours and the big <laughs> massive sleeve sponsor as well? Is I only just saw that retros- retrospectively because I've always seen the, the, the other side, mate. The other side. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but well, yeah, it's, it's, e- it's easy on the eye as well. Is it? Despite you all need, those different size fonts. I think you need your eyes testing. That's easy on the eye. It's easy on my eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they need testing. It's fine. No, I mean, hey, there's no judgment here, mate. That's absolutely fine. Uh, you free to rank. Anything else you'd like to say about it? No. Would you wear it on a night out? Uh, I wouldn't. No, I don't like too much going on on the shirt. I don't like big brands. Like remember Bench? Bench used to have a massive thing on the back of the jeans. I don't like that. Um, who else were bad for that? Ivisu. Ivisu. Um, oh my days. Yeah, yeah they're, they're coming back. Try. They're coming back. I'm quite plain, a plain white tee. Yeah, if if anything, you are quite plain, you're right. Uh, Dom, no, not a white tee either, because he doesn't like wearing white on a night. No, he doesn't like wearing white. Plain black. Anyway, Dom, let's come to you next on this one, my friend. And this was ninth place on your respective list. Tell us why, for you, it was the second worst shirt of the 10 that was sent to you. The thing is, is I really hate Stockport County's uh, newest uh, <laughs> version. <laughs> Um, no, I think I think just to highlight, obviously, as you've done, um, the fact that like that can be done all right. That sleeve sponsor is ridiculous, yeah. um, like abhorrent. 
Uh, and then obviously the bull mastiffs or the Yorkshire Terriers with the ladder in between. Although it's a really good badge, it's a bit shit as well. Um, and then yeah, the the sponsors is it Conformer or, or Conforama or Synergy or is it both? Um, I'm not <laughs> like, like make your mind up. Go with one. Um, or otherwise, we're going full fucking South America. Um, but yeah. yeah, it's 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 just too fucking obvious. They're gonna do it, and then it's this could be a shirt from 15 years ago or in 15 years' time, and I'd still be any less encouraged by it. I say no because 15 years ago they used to have really nice shirts. I've got their sort of oh uh, the Nike one anniversary shirt. Yeah, I've got that one. Yeah, from when you won the league. I, I, one I, I tell you that as well. Well. But no, but I get what you're saying. That shirt that could be any any home shirt they've had for the last 10 years. Do you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. Uh, but yeah, on the badge, and Chris, we'll come to you lastly on it, um, being that you put it in in seventh place. For, for me, and you you might like this reference, aren't those the two dogs that guard the gates on uh, Ghostbusters? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the two there, devil is dogs. No, there is no Hellas, only Zool. <laughs> yeah. um, yes, what a pun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why I I boosted it up a few uh, spaces. Uh, I like blue and yellow, and I'm a big Ghostbusters fan. Who isn't? Uh, Who isn't? Honestly, between this one, the uh, the Zeus one, and the At- Atalanta one, I could have all just given them two points. Like the reason why this one was just a bit higher than the others is I quite like blue and yellow, and that's probably because they were my old school colours. Um, <laughs> The, the sponsor's hideous. The arm sponsor's hideous. Uh, I, I hope that when you pick off the badge, uh, that a tiny little Rick Moranis and uh, <laughs> uh, Gordon Weaver are actually under there. <laughs> that would be that would be something, wouldn't it? But yeah, that no. Would... This is uh, between seven, eight, and nine. They're all they're all a nine. Yeah, as in <laughs> okay. nine, you know. That's that's fine. That's fine. Um, there we go then. Uh, Hellas Verona. Uh, do you know I think Joma are going through a bit of a sticky period at the moment? I don't think they've really produced anything. I think, I think they're being outdone by the likes of Macron, Macron. Zeus. Um, everyone. everyone. Um, other, like, other, other emerging brands, like even Castore um, are, are doing stuff to kind of push the envelope a little bit. Um, yeah. and I think Joma are just a little too safe. Uh, maybe they've they've got good, like uh, got good teams and they've got like a good portfolio, but they're not, they're not willing to push the brand, whereas Umbro, for example, they realise that, that you can't rest on your laurels. Yeah. But also, do you not think that Joma's... You said about good team selection. Do you not think that some of their team selection, like, you know, um, Villarreal, like uh, some, of their, so, some of their teams don't allow for a lot of experimentation? Safe, mm-hmm. safe, safe bets. Yeah. Safe, safe bets. Yeah. Or, yeah. And that's the thing, like, you know, if this was unsponsored... It's fine, like it could service, you know, for like five years. Like you say, 15 years ago, 15 years yeah. in the future. Um, yeah. You know, maybe they're better than Castore because their logos won't fall off or be upside down. <laughs> that that could... Safe, that... Pair of, safe pair of hands with glue and the stuff together, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, there we go then. Hell's Verona, uh, seventh on our list this week with 20 points. Moving on to number six then, and just beating it by one point with 21 overall. Oh, I didn't show a picture of everyone wearing it, but who cares, really? Oh, uh, it's this. It's the Lazio away shirt, and it's by Mizuno. It's really smart. It, it, I, you, there's something wrong with you. It's got the old badge. Uh, I mean, we'll start with you, Dom. Because... There's a reason. There's, there's two reasons. Well, there's two reasons why it, it's it's so low down. Uh, but you had this one in in fifth place, mate, and I agree with that kind of well, score. I did have it higher, didn't I? All right. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I did did you? I don't know. Did you? Yeah. Until you change your mind about the the shirts that hey, we had to listen, rank. Listen, you rank them. I don't force you to put where you put shirts, mate. That's not. I did have it higher, and <laughs> reasonably so as well. Yeah, um, I think it's beautiful. Mate, it's gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, it's just I don't like the fact that if you're portly 
or slightly rotund, them stripes are not going to do any favours. <laughs> Zero favours. But they tie in so well with the badge. And yeah. I, I, I'll be honest, I'm in love with that Mizuno logo. Oh. Oi! Uh, that Mizuno logo. Give me more. Give Mate. me more. 100%. And I really want them to do well. Like, genuinely, really want yeah. them to do well. Um, because... <laughs> He's doing DIY while you're talking about football shit. You are a multitasker, mate. Honestly, uh, I really want them to do well because they've yeah. they've tried like the hanger appeal. Obviously, they could have gone the collar, and I do appreciate a good collar and cuff matchup. But there's enough of a reference to Italy that it's mm -hmm. just within the cuffs, but then in the neckline as well. Um, but yeah, I really I, like. I'm really rooting for Mizuno. Really rooting yeah. for him because I think they produce some gorgeous stuff. And like Lazio stuff last season was was really nice as well. So yeah. this, like even like sponsorless, is uh, delightful for me. Yeah, absolutely, mate. And uh, you know, I could have gone for the home, uh, but I think with that, with that, uh, the, the alternative badge, it had it had to be the way for me. Chris, we'll come to you next on this one, and it was fifth place for you. I mean, you know, you spoke about Joma then. With, with with Hellas Rona and how Joma seemed to go for safe, you know, safe safe bets, and the same could almost be said with with yeah. Lazio and Mizuno, but they seem to be at least trying something with, with, with their safe yeah, bets. Yeah, and uh, the same as Dom, I think mine was one higher as well before the the old change. <laughs> um, this is this is a good example of the difference between playing it safe and just for me, kind of nice classy design. Yeah, you know the very fact that that kind of, uh, you know, it's ribbed for my pleasure all the way down. <laughs> um, it's got you know the, the old classic badge. The fact that the, the the Italian flag is just subtle, like you say, they could have gone for the whole neckline or big. It's just it feels sleek. It feels well designed as opposed to not thought about. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm glad you picked this one instead of the home because actually I'm not a big fan of the home. But yeah, for me, this is you know that oh, yeah, oh. It just it's just a very very sleek, classy design, and I think it's and you know, miss yeah again. Um, sorry, apologies, Chris. Mm -hmm. Um, the the wings on the older badge, um, the way in which the pattern is broken up. If you go back to the previous picture, it's left blank where the wings are. Which makes it stand, makes that element of the badge stand out even more. Yeah, which oh, I think yeah. is absolutely class. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. Anything else you'd like to add, Chris? No, I just, I just think it's just yeah. it, it, there's a there's a film. Uh, what's it? Um, American Hustle. Have you seen that with Christian Bale and yeah. Amy Adams? And it's a great. Are you see Apple Pie? No, that's American Pie. That's American Pie. Yeah. Oh, no, that's your OnlyFans. Um, uh, I, I I always say when I watched American Hustle, which won tons of Oscars, uh, I, I was left a bit cold at the end of it because I just went, "Hang on a second, all films should just be as good as this." You know, there was nothing special about it. It should all be as good as this. This for me is a, is the same for football shirts. All football shirts should just be this nicely designed anyway. You know, like yeah. yeah. It's just, it's just a, it's just a well designed piece of, you know, shirt. Absolutely, I, I, I tend to disagree with the period. Just on, I think if they'd done the collar with the Italian flag, I think it just makes it a little bit more gimmicky. I think the subtle element to it yeah. kind of just leaves it classy with that blue. Uh, blue no, no, I said, I said that. I said I appreciate. Yeah, yeah, no, it was good. No, there was you said you it on there. You said no, 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 no it's it's good good ordinarily. Yeah, oh, I, right, okay. but I'll let the you hanger off. appeal. I like the fact that it's still got it in the back, in the right. yoke or the back I, of the neck. Sorry, mate, I just got lost in your eyes when you were talking. I apologize. Uh, lost in your right. stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, strong, Jesus Christ! Strong whiff of it going around. Um, so with you know a really nice loving of, of what is you know a really smart, elegant shirt. It's probably best we go and speak to someone who maybe not a fan of it at all and. Maybe a reason why it's so far down the list. Well, tonight. before you say oh. it, before you say where it came, <laughs> I'm not going to apologise, but I think I, well, I'm going to say where I put it. I put it in 10. Six deep. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even rank it. He's not even got a score. 
<laughs> because when I looked at it straight away, I, I was thinking France and USA, and it, it I don't don't like it. And I was bad. Okay. I, I put it down. It was too easy just to put tenth, and then I moved on. But on reflection, only because I've listened to you both, and I thought, oh yeah, actually, um, <laughs> I, it, it's not bad. And I and I would so, put it higher than what I did, but I don't want to disclose where. No. I mean, it's neat. It's neat. It's basic. <laughs> but I don't like the crest. Um. That's it. I love the... I'm not going to say anymore. That Lazio crest is unbelievable, Sean. It's it, unbelievable. Do you know, the only one that beats that for no. me is the uh, centenary one. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, if, again, we say it all the time on this show. If, if we all like the same stuff, this, this show would be boring. Wouldn't it, mm-hmm. I guess. And I love a flip-flop as well. We do love some flip-flops on this show. Uh, let's go through the two that aren't here. And Jay had this in fourth. Uh, he's put vegan, vegan, vegan. No, sorry, v- very, very, very. Clean. He's put three V's, so it looks like he's saying it's like a menu. It's just really vegan. Uh, very, very, very clean. Nice Scudetto throwback. Home is better though. Is it? But is, is it? it? But is, is it? it? Is it though? Is it though? Is it though? And Mark, who is you know a fan of Serie, a, he had this one in. This was his bottom. This is why it's come so low, guys, because this was also bottom. What's he doing? For him as well. And he said, smart, but just bland, I guess, could easily be a training kit. And I think that's a lot of what Sean said. I think he's looked at it and gone, oh, maybe when you, you discuss it and you look a bit deeper into the elements of the shirt, which Dom's discussed, you know, the, the way the wings of the, the eagle go, you know, a, a, a wiped out on that stripe on the shirt, the Mizuno badge. I mean, it's just beautiful in it and yeah. like I said I think Mizuno have had a lot more hits than misses with, with the two years of Lazio and this for me is another another hit but not to be with our rankers sixth place with 21 points this week right moving on to number five and it is this with 29 points so a bit of a jump in terms of the scores it's Fiorentina and their away shirt for the 23-24 season uh, the two that aren't here, we had Mark who put this one in. Where did he put it? He put this one in sixth place, and he says, "Nice, unique pattern, but the sponsor lets it down." I've actually, I want to talk about the sponsor and what they could have done. What I think they could have done better, but we'll we'll talk about that in a second. And then Jay had this one in sixth place, and he says, "Nice floral design. Hate the color." Doesn't go all the way round. See, Sean, I told you. Doesn't go all the way around it. I knew you'd have something to say. Right. Uh, the rankers that are here. And let's start with Chris. Let's start with you on this one. And you had this one in fourth place for you this week. What were your thoughts on this shirt? from? Um, I, I really like it. I echo the thing of uh, the... the I'm not a big fan of the Mediacom uh, sponsor. No. It's not. It's not terrible, you know. Uh, that would look really nice. That's a really beautiful shirt there, Dom. Um, <laughs> uh, almost like uh, you stole it off your son. Uh, <laughs> it would just look nicer with the Nintendo logo. Um, it's it's yeah. nice. Uh, like <sighs> there's something. There's just something about this that it, there's areas of it where the clean line of it goes against the kind of very natural thing that it's going for. So the mm-hmm. fact that the sleeves are quite regimented, you know, as opposed to it being a more kind of faded pattern, which you would expect from what they were doing with the kind of band across the the middle. The yeah. neck is one of these, you know, just the front bit, whereas, you know, there's, there's too many clean lines on it mm-hmm. when really feels like it's going for this kind of natural oh you know there's just some you know flowers on the shirt man it's all kind of groovy um uh so it just kind of jars a little bit but it is it is a very very nice shirt um yeah i'm not a big fan of that new badge either it's just yeah no it's the corporateiness of parts of it that just kind of don't gel for me yeah no i agree uh what I was going to say, I think two things they could have done here. I think they could have have had the flower all on the base 
and leave the sleeves white. Or my preference, and I think I spoke to Jay about this the other day. For me, that the band across the, the mid or coming up, it's in the wrong place. It's almost like yes, when, you see, like... when you see a hen party and, and a, a thing's falling down and she's half drunk and she's trying to get it back up. It needs to be a full diagonal, I think. And I think that would look a lot better. And then you put the sponsor in the band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes diagonal. Like it. Yeah, and I think that would look... And the sleeves, you know. the sleeves, you don't do it so regimented, but what you do is you have it kind of fade up so Maybe, that if you were yeah. wearing it long sleeve, it would be oh, all yeah. flowers and then it kind of starts to fade to out towards the top. Um, yeah. And then just get rid of the purple and red bands on it as well. I think that's yeah. all you'd need from it. I think, and then I think it is absolutely beautiful. Sean, you love this one. Oh, you liked it a lot. It was third place for you. Yeah. Tell us, tell us what you liked about it so much. I like the um, the, the free and easy of it, like the Japanese peace lily lotusy sort of thing. Yeah. The way it goes into the sleeve, like it's meant to be there. Um, again, it. It didn't need to look as corporate with all that going on. It could have adapted itself a little bit, which made it would make it possibly go a bit higher. Yeah. Um, like Mediacom, where it's going to be like Mediacom, <laughs> like you said, Aaron, like behind the the lot the, the band sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I quite like the crest. Yeah. Um, right, but yeah, that, that's it. I, I think it's really nice. Sean, sure. yeah. how much nicer would it look though? Right. If instead of that kind of very corporate kind of like angular crest, if it just had a good old fashioned like Fiorentina fleur de lis on it in yeah. red, oh, just that, lunch. just like that, what, like what Dom's got, yeah, yeah. or even that yeah, old yeah. style bag. Yeah, totally agree. I totally agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, for sure. Uh, okay, moving on, finishing off with Dom on this one then, and it's only at seventh place for you, Dom. Uh, I will just say quickly, it seems to be flowers are in, really in bloom this season for, for football shirts. You know, there's a lot mm. doing. So I can't help myself. There's a lot doing it. Manchester United, for one. That's uh, a really bold statement. <laughs> statement? What? Statement? Oh. All right, Petal. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, Petal, calm down. That was, uh, that, right. was, that was too above the line for you guys. <laughs> oh, right. Um... I yeah, found that for Colin. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, um, quickly moving on to this shirt, Dom. Were you, like I say, yeah. so flowers, flowers really seem to be in bloom at the moment. Oh, um, my. Uh, no, I wasn't doing it again. I'm just trying to get into the roof. And into yeah, the root. Into the root of uh, the root of the cause of yeah, brilliant. everything that, that, that's yeah. going on. Yeah, so you know, tell me what you think about this shirt and what you think about this whole sort of f uh, craze that's going Floral on. Floral movement. Oh yeah, 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 uh, mate. Oh, it's look, like uh, Woodstock. Leave, leave it alone, mate. Yeah. Uh, no, I've got. I've genuinely got a lot of time for it. I think uh, obviously um, we see these kind of um, floral notes um, across a number of shirts, um, and and for good reason as well because they are like aesthetically pleasing uh, pleasing um but i think um i can only echo the sentiments of should this have been a little bit different uh, it could have been so much better uh, the fact that within the uh, sash or like band across um the body of this shirt it kind of you've got the petals that kind of overlap the sash itself that could have just been done on one of the sleeves and i think it really ties in well with um, just going up onto the the one sleeve. Mm. I don't think it needs to be on the other sleeve, if I'm honest. Yeah. That could just be white, and it would instantly look a lot better. And we we lambast clubs for or designers for for just sticking a, a band of a sponsor across design elements. At least this is sensitive to that, and it's it's not anything where they say, "Well, MediaCom should be obtrusive towards." The design element they've tried to accommodate it and i've got a lot of time for it um i think obviously the new badge is shit and um, if it was the more floral one it would have fit in so much better and the fact that they could have afforded to have been a bit more creative like with a 
and uh, non-home shirt, um, then that would have been great. But then the the cut off with the sleeves and the collar is just fucking grim. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's there's a lot to like about it. But I can appreciate if people aren't necessarily on board. But then um, I, I'd be loving like this floral movement. I see anything like this, and I think Diana Al Shamari, um, who customizes shirts. Um, a, a football shirt gal, I think it is. Um, yeah, yeah. And I, I look at I look at a lot of these. And I think she's going to make that fucking stunning. No matter how bad we think this is, she's going to put some stuff out there that we're all going to fall in love with. Um, but yeah, there's a there's a lot to like about it. Yeah, absolutely, uh, and a lot that could be improved as we all spoken about here. But there we go. It's the Fiorentina away shirt, twenty nine points. You may have noticed uh, someone's had a change. Everyone went for a wee, apart from myself. And Sean decided that he wanted to to get more fitting with the theme. He's going to put a uh, Italia Channel Four. What was it? Just Italia? What Italian football? It, it, I can't remember what it's it's, do you know that little that the word where it goes um, in the song? Well, that, uh, the yeah. goes, um, "Come on, Adriano, the calcio, the Italiano, dun 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 but they're the, they're the, the, the only lyrics you can hear on the commentary. Yeah, Football Italia, that's it. Football yeah. Italia on Channel 4. We all remember it. I just can't remember the name of it. So, yeah, Sean's now, you know, not in a Stockport shirt and he's actually made an effort. So, we'll get into shirt number four. And with 31 points, it is this stunner from Inter Milan. It's nice, isn't it? It's a beautiful Milan shirt. I, I think I'm the only person in the world who loves the night template as well, which we'll find out from the guys what they think about it. Don't look at me like that, Dominic. Sean, let's come to you on this one. And it was your fifth place shirt. Inter with a new sponsor. What are you making of it? I get right. This is similar to my last place one, but I gave it more time. I hated it because of the sponsor. Then I looked at it and I'm like, I actually like it as an Inter Milan shirt. And I like that template. Um, not so sure about the, the eBay on the side, but I think Paramount could work. Yeah. Okay. And what do you think That's of that template? I, I, I like it. I think it yeah. works. And the Lambretta badge? You fan of that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't mind that. Fair one. Fair I one. think it's better than... I, I like it as a reference. It's, they've had it for years, haven't they? Like, it goes back to the 90s. That. I like the but fact that you, it's there. It's, it's when they win the Super Copper, isn't it? That, I think. Yeah. See, I do know football, guys. Uh, right, <laughs> uh, the rankers aren't here. Um, I guess you don't really care, but I better give their scores anyway. Otherwise, it's not really fair for them to do it, is it? And waste of time ranking. Uh, Jay, I, I knew it. I knew someone to mention it. Uh, pretty meh, to be honest, and shy Mike template. See, straight away, I knew he's so predictable in, in what he says. And our friend Mark had it in second place. I, I effing love this shirt. You could have sworn, mate. It's all right. We're all adults. So pleased they've gone with Paramount. Maybe the best sponsor in Serie A. Wow. Uh, the Nike template has mixed results, but this one thrives with these colours. The yellow really helps it pop too. I agree. Uh, okay. Moving on to Dom. Let, Dom, let's come to you on this one. Fourth place. So you've kind of nailed it this week. What are you thinking yeah. of it? Mate, uh, reluctantly, like... I really like it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't want to. I saw all the leaks, and then obviously a lot of those were um, like sponsorless. And I think yeah. um, because of how busy the actual centre part of the shirt is, it detracts away from that fucking awful template, okay. uh, which it is a really bad template. Oh, and okay. they're gonna. When are they gonna stop peddling it to us? You uh, couldn't stop touching my Brazil shirt the other night. So don't give it all this. That's because you oh, were wearing it. That's it. Oh, it's That's it. That's it. Uh, obviously, I love the Quadrophenia reference um, <laughs> that I'm, I'm a massive fan of. Um, and I think they could have done a lot worse, like sponsor-wise. Um, yeah. But I think because this harks back to like Pirelli being in white and uh, the like Nike logo and in a badge being yellow years back, yeah. This is like a nice nod to that, but it's not just a blatant ripoff. Um, I love the eBay sleeve sponsor, and I think because of the kind of um, kind of like jaggedy 
stripes the shoulder pattern isn't as jarring as i would think it would be normally um so yeah there's uh, reluctantly as i say i really fucking like it and i wish i didn't um but i do that's all right. it's like how i view you all right that's so polite nice of you uh i was gonna say quickly on the ebay sponsor i believe that no matter how much you pay for this shirt in in the club store that they they won't rescind you buying it and and accept the higher bid off someone else just because you didn't get enough for it the first time around. I'm like every lie will be informed. As well. Also, there's buyer protection on it as well. So if it is fake, in the shop, you can get your money back. I, I believe so. Anyway, uh <laughs> Chris, I'd love to fin- I'd love to finish it off with you, mate. Uh, as always. Yeah, and- what about the shirt? <laughs> yeah, we'll get we'll get to the shirt in in enough time. Don't you worry about it. Only six plays for you. I mean, it was, was fifth at one point. Well, okay, we don't have to keep. <laughs> Let's keep going back to that, do we? Uh, what are you thinking of that? I mean, the, the sort of brush stroke pattern. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a glitch, isn't it? Because if you look at the yeah. way, it's got like a glitch pattern. I'm going to take a wild stab and say that Angelo Trofer uh, designed this. That he designed the last season's one. I've I've followed him for about a decade or so, and to see the the work that he puts in on inter kits and harking back to the past yet making them new i think there's loads of stuff like that like you mentioned like the yellow badge and the logo but with the white sponsor if this was pirelli um we'd be talking way up there way up there uh i personally uh think it's paramount that they get rid of the sponsor (laughs) Um, i think it's it's a poor sponsor i don't like the socks are very good to be fair yeah the socks are great um and actually, that one, that picture of it makes me go, oh, maybe the there's something about that that Nike template because of the cut of it. It feels like the badges and like everything's just a bit low. And like, I think I did a tweet about it a couple of weeks ago. Like the McAllister on the back of the Liverpool shirt is like halfway down the back, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it does the best job of a bad template or a kind of dodgy template. I quite like the glitchiness. It's a little bit better than the the random diagonal ones that they did a couple of years ago. Uh, I just think, yeah, sponsor ruins it for me. Like I'm just, I get how I do understand that a lot of people do like the Paramount logo. And the would you have gone, Chris, uh, would you have gone um, with Paramount plus, but without the mountain and stars? Yeah. If they've just done Paramount across the front without the, without the thing, uh, or even maybe, maybe just the mountain. I don't know. Mm. Or, but yeah, I just, it's just a bit busy. And also, like, there's something about that kind of old fashioned Paramount writing as well, isn't it? Like, it's such an old, you know, 1920s sort of like, we should just write our logo in a nice font. It reminds me of, it reminds me of the end of Frasier. Don't know. Yeah, because it was sponsored by yeah, because it was produced by Paramount. But yeah, that's exactly what I film guy. But yeah, there's there's stuff about it that I love. You know, I love like for me that inter badge is now working when it's in that sort of like uh coloring. I like yeah. the little of the little English flag at the back, obviously playing to the, the history. Um if I you know, if like last season you can get this unsponsored, much higher. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. Fourth place, uh, 31 points overall, and it is Inter Milan and their home shirt for next season. Will Romelu Lukaku be wearing it? I don't think he will. Uh, But we don't talk about football here, so let's not even mention that. Third place on our list. Very tight, these these last three shirts, by the way. Only five points separate the three of them. Very, very tight. Uh, And the next one caused a bit of a storm on social media. The last week or so, I've jumped to the defense of it as, as many others with 40 points. Is this it's the Roma home shirt for next season, which is beauty uh, modeled beautifully by Chris? Oh, Taylor, yes, on your screens, back is with the Lepetto. It's, it's a stunner. Let's go through the rankers that aren't here because uh, I'm sure they've got some. Uh, to say about it uh, in fourth place from Mark 
I do really like it. The return of Adidas was so exciting, but something feels missing. Uh, not that it doesn't have a sponsor. Maybe I'm just a tad underwhelmed, I think he's saying there. And Jay from Retro, second, a modern classic. Adidas smashing it with a simple 90s throwback kit. Can't go wrong. So two opposite ends there, really, of the spectrum. Despite Mark put it in, in fourth, I think he had a lot more criticisms <laughs> And stuff he liked about it, weirdly. Uh, let's go through our rankers, Dom. We will kick it off with you on this one. I feel we should. And you had this one in uh, sixth place. Yeah, why, why, why? Why? What with the intonation in the voice there, but as if you were questioning me. I, well, I'm it's shocked. Not questioning. Sixth place? I'm shocked that you've got it in sixth place because I thought why? you had taste and, and, and you know, a bit of style about you. Well, I, I, I would do if this wasn't just an inane Adidas template that was... Chris, do you want your shirt back? Do you want your shirt back, Chris? Is that is that what's going on? A, a variation on a uh, colour theme. Uh, admittedly, looks a lot lighter in the promo pics uh, to what people have said is the actual hue of the shirt, which is a bit of a deeper Roma red, but why why on earth are you only judging a shirt's appeal on a lapetal badge? That's it. Because otherwise it's a it's a template shirt, which we, we all find abhorrent. And I'll be honest, if I ever look at an Adidas shirt and it's got two stripes on the collar and cuffs, I think that's snide that. It's like if you see Adidas four stripe trainers. You go, they're fucking snide. Stop buying them then. That's what I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just I don't, I don't like it. Don't buy them. You've got. I, I don't. I don't appreciate in this. Um, in, in this kind of um, template, the nacho that's just in the middle of the collar. Well, um, don't slag off the nacho. Yeah, exactly. But you'd have eaten it uh, as we all would have. Oh, yeah. um, and it would have just left you with a decent V-neck. I get the throwback, but then in the same vein, I, I understand people going, well, it's just a Spain shirt. I was like, well, kind of. And then sponsorless, what are they end up, like, going to end up with? Obviously, it could be paramount for uh, for Chris's possible kind of uh, demise. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, um, I think, I think the training gear is better. Uh, but I just don't think you should be like holding out all hope for a Lepetto making what is effectively just a team wear shirt appealing. Okay. So I'm not I'm not sold on it. Fair enough. That's fine. Uh, Chris, we'll come to you next. Second place for you. <laughs> yes, I know it was it was one it was one place higher at one point. Whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you? Do you think there are certain con? Do I, I think it's... that Dom should shut his wet mouth? Yes, yeah, is that, right is that? But my main question to you is: Do you think this shirt? There's certain corners of the kit community that are trying too hard to try and knock it down, considering some of the teams that they support and some of the shite that they release. There's certain teams that are coming out with Zara knockoffs this week. And yet this shirt seems to have all corners of the internet crying over what is a beautifully classic, simple... You know, we talked about Lazio. I don't know I'm getting on my eye, I'll say. But we talked about Lazio being beautiful. Are you, are you still not ranking there? No. No, no. Uh, but this is this follows that, right? It's a beautiful, elegant, simple throwback shirt, yeah? Look, I, I think, you know, the joy of this invisible community is that we can all like and dislike whatever we like. And I completely get how some people don't like the shirt. I think the product pictures don't do it justice in any way. When people go, this is just the Spain shirt. It's yeah. not in real life. It's a much more of a kind of purpley hue with orange, as opposed to your picture there. That's uh, well, not your picture, obviously. Uh, double <laughs> uh, you taking the picture of it, um, of red and yellow. Uh, but th equally, that's not the right shade of red either. That's much darker yeah. than it is in real life. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I'm going to concede one little bit uh, about the Nacho there. 
Um, <laughs> it would have looked nicer without it. And in Chris. fact, it might, it might have looked a little bit nice if it just had like a an orange uh, collar. You know, Chris, the uh, obviously the, the reference in which we know this is uh, geared towards, um, the, again, the, the two stripe snide element. Right. If I understand, I understand like regulation wise, they couldn't do that. But if this had know. three stripes, oh, you're saying it's three red stripes. No, no, no. It's not. It, it's one of those weird bits of design where it's just as if I thought I'd be doing this freaking tonight. <laughs> um, it's the yellow and it's got a darker band in the middle. So it's actually darker compared to the red. Like so a not, like a France kind of thing. Yeah, like so like this is like the the old kind of Roma red, you know, like the proper yeah. burgundy. Okay. So when you look at it, it doesn't feel like it's just two stripes. It feels like it's got the cuff and it's got the orange with the burgundy line through it. Oh, which wow. none of I hate it, that you've told me that as well. Can you see it now? Oh. So it <laughs> I, can't, like I can't see it, but I can appreciate you pointing out. Your face, yeah, pretty really appreciating your face. Yeah. Uh, however, like, my, my original point doesn't change. If that was three stripes, which is what the reference is, it'd be ten out of ten. See, I don't see. I don't think it's a three stripe reference. I think they've gone for the orange with the burgundy through the middle. Yeah. It's just in all the pictures and in all the promos. When you look at it up close, when you when you have it on, there's no way you think it's three stripes. Okay. I would. I would have maybe have done like I say the old fashioned kind of nineteen ninety collar on it, mm -hmm. if they could have. Um, I don't think you're just overpaying for the Lepetto or you're over kind of egging it for the Lepetto. I just think it, it's a very tidy, neat shirt. Look, let's face it, all the Adidas shirts have a you know a little bit of team wear sort of you know vibe to it as well. They've all got the same sort of panels and the the stylings. I just think it's nice and classy. But yeah. equally, as soon as that third shirt comes out, um, no one's going to be talking about this one. Next year, no one's going to be talking about it. I just think it's a very, you know, I, it's one of those things where I think in the future you'll look at it and I think it might age well. But at the same time, I do I do get why people aren't a big fan of it. But, you know. But it's, it's, first, it's, it's first shirt safety as well to some degree. Oh, yeah, totally. totally. And if you look at the um, original Nike uh, Roma one from 2014, 2015, that's literal team wear, but yeah. just in the colours, you know, it just kind of works. And I think if this was like the old badge, there'd be not much to it. But I think, you know, for me personally, I can see why people are going mad for it. I think that all red looks really nice with it. Um, but equally, you know, if people don't like it, that's absolutely fine. But you're wrong. Uh, so we'll just finish <laughs> off quickly with... with... Sean, because Sean, it was your number one shirt this week. Do you still? Hey, Sean gets it. Do you still have that view? Yeah, of course. When I look at it, I always it's like I can't not see Barilla, and I like that. Yeah. Um, Barilla in I the just... mist. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also, my mum used to get me fake, well, snide Roma shirts when she went away. So, I'm... why is that a good thing? This when I was about ten. So Nostalgia. this means like harking back to my childhood. I'm like, that's it. Sweet then. There we go. Roma's home shirt back over the list is third on our list this week. Forty points from our rankers. Right. Next two shirts separated by one single point. Very very close. Someone was moaning one was going to get a full house and he didn't. So the next shirt that we've got to show you, forty four points from our rankers, and it is this. The Napoli home shirt. Scudetto winners after 30 years, 30 odd years, however many years it is. Um, yeah, it's, it's done well. It's done It's done a lot better than I thought it would, I'll be honest with you. Uh, the rankers aren't here. Mark had this number one, and he'll give you a good reason as to why. And that is because he says, I'll admit I'm biased as Napoli are my team. Boo. We do think this shirt is incredible. The Italy flag colours on the collar take it to the next level. Coinciding with the Scudetto patch, I liked uh, I liked a lot of Lette shirts, but pleased it's gone, to be honest. Looks simpler and stronger. And Jay had this one in third. 
I love this, quite simple, but Napoli needed simple. The Italian Italian cuffs for the win is great. Okay. The rankers that are here, let's go through those. And Chris, let's start it with you on this one, mate. And yeah, you had this one in third place. I think, you know, we spoke about the Lazio shirt before, not having it on the collar. How do you think it works on the collar for this shirt? I've got a little bit of uh, rankers remorse uh, that I've rated it so highly. Um, okay. It is good, but I think I've ranked it really highly because I'm just pleased that Lete's gone. Yeah. yeah. I, th I think I've just gone, thank God it's it's gone. It's nice. I actually think the Lazio one's slightly more classy. Mm -hmm. If this had like a little collar on it and that Italian uh, flag detail was just underneath it, yeah. it might have kind of had a few more maradona -y vibes. Um, I just think it's, I think it's nice. I just, mm -hmm. I think it's just... You know, they've tied it. Obviously, it ties all together uh, with the Scudetto badge. Yeah. Uh, I mean, imagine a team, you know, putting gold trim on their their kit, thinking they were going to win the Premier League, and then <laughs> and then not. I mean, you know having I mean? to having to spin it. It means no. It's for twenty years. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, what it was, boys, and then and then still getting that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's thirty eight um, games in a season, lads. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, stick it. If if you got rid of uh, MSG across the middle and just slapped a nice big Mars logo on it, <laughs> I think I think it'd look like like this needs a nice old fashioned sponsor, uh, yeah. which I think we're going to see number one. Um, but like that, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah, what did I rank it as? Like third or something? Third, you had it, yeah, in the third place for you. I think I might, I might have been a bit generous. It is nice though, for me. And the reason why I don't think I could ever have it in the... Uh, it'd be bottom three for me. It's the EA7. I, yeah, I can't yeah. get behind. It's not a sports brand. And that, even though you're meant to believe it's still Kappa doing it all, but plastering Armani on it. No, it's not right. It doesn't look right. I don't like it. And that could, that could be a Napoli shirt from the... You know, we were talking about Verona before. You slap Macron on that. You slap Kappa on that. You slap Diodora on that. It's all the same. The terrible, terrible shirts Napoli have had. I don't rate one of them. Uh, honestly, I, I promise that. The best one I've had in a long time. Yes, I, I, that's a lot to do with the Letty going. Personally, I, I, and I think... just remember, they've got another sixty-four coming out this year, so you're bound to find one you like. Well, you say that, but no, I won't. I guarantee because I didn't last year. <laughs> uh, Sean, let's move on to you because it was second on your list. You really like this one, then, yeah. I think it was a good attempt, it's a good effort. Um, but yeah, when, when you brought up the A7 thing, it does remind me of like lads in Tiger Tiger wearing <laughs> the A7 shirts. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. and that's I don't, I'm like Chris. I'm like, oh shit, maybe it could have been third or fourth for that. Um, but he, the response is a little bit nautical as well with the little compass feature on it. They are on the coast. I like it. I like the shirt. I would wear it. Mm. Okay. To uh, sorry, Totty. Roma <laughs> was the only one beating it, in my opinion. Yeah. Fair one then, mate. Uh, finishing off with you, Dom, then. And again, someone else. They don't add it outside the top the top three. The best shirt they've had for years, then, you would say? Well, uh, we, we say that as if um, we've not been absolutely battered around the head with shirt after shirt after shirt yeah. so um this it's it's a weird like kind of um position whereby it's coincided with the fact that after a title win they've produced the best shirt because they slapped us around the head with 25 shirts last season uh, and we're all going well one of them's got to be nice this one is nice uh, and taken away for, uh, from the EA7 and then the, I think that MSC is a nautical sponsor in that they do cruises, I think. Um, this is a really good shirt in that it ties re really well with the Scudetto. Um, it's got, uh, it's, well, it's got uh, hints of like the best Dramberg Italy shirt, which was the first one of like 95 with the kind of Italian flag uh, yeah. cuffs as well, which are really fucking nice. And then the badges repeated. 
uh, within the texture of the fabric um, as a, not necessarily a jacquard, but just repeated loads of little ends. Um, and obviously, if you're from the ends like me, um, it's, a, <laughs> it's, it's a really, really nice touch. Um, oh, come on. Um, and I think, obviously, to celebrate what they did last season, um, which nobody really would have expected them to do um, in the run-up, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's really classy. I really like the uh, white piping as well. Um, I think it's this is this is something that will age really fucking well. And because of the skedetto, people are going to be like falling over themselves for uh, now and in the near and distant future as well. Fair enough. Well, unfortunately for Napoli, the tide is in, so it couldn't reach number one on our list this week. Forty-four points. Overall, from, uh, 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 I'm not even sorry. I'm a <laughs> funny. I don't care. I don't even care. Uh, right. It got 44 points. It's missed out to one shirt. You may have heard earlier that I actually last minute threw a shirt in because it got released literally yesterday and there was no way I couldn't have it in. Oops. I've done it again. Well, I've never done it before. But it's, it's come number one of our list and it's got 45 points. Dom did message me going, well, there we go. There's a first, there's a 50 part, 50 point shirt. That's going to be a boring show. Turns out you were wrong, Dom. Turns out you were wrong. Yeah, but only, uh, Sean is not like a, a barometer of um, reasonability. Well, that's what, that's what you should, you should have took that into account thinking we'll never have a, a, a 50 point shirt again with Sean at the moment. But anyway, saying that, 45 points from our rankers, our number one shirt, and they have ranked this the best shirt of Syria for next season from the 10 that we've seen, of course. It is this, oh, man. It is the Bologna home shirt for next season. I mean, good Lord. I mean, I, I, let's just, we'll take a minute. Just take a second. Do you know what, you know what I'm going to do as well? That picture didn't even do it justice. Let's look at why, that. Why has Chris gone deep, Sal? <laughs> why I do declare <laughs> I do it's declare it's been with the vapors. <laughs> Just take that in for for a second. I mean, oh. good lord! There we go. So there, that is the Bologna shirt for next season, the home shirt. And from our rankers that aren't here, Jay, absolutely unreal. The badges, the polo collar, the colours, even the sponsor is sexy. Big dub. I was going to say specsy then, but that's like a joke at him because he wears glasses. I reckon, but that'd have been cruel, wouldn't it? That would have been cruel. I shouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that. That's cruel. Uh, and <laughs> our friend Mark had it third as well. And he just says, uh, Macron firing with those badges all over and put a few um, fire emojis as well on that one. So that says he is a fan. Let's go through the rankers here. And Dom, we'll kick it off with you, shall we? Yes. You had this one uh, top of the pile. Tell us why it was top of the pile. Mate, oh, come on. It, this is just like the archetypal, I, I want to say throwback, but it, it doesn't seem like a throwback. It seems like a, a teleportation device or like yeah. an actual time machine, um, which is what we all look for in shirts that we love, uh, anything that evokes like a better time or like a visual stimulant um, as to export us to a completely different era. Uh, and I think this is the perfect example of doing that. Um, yeah. Because of the fact that it's got the jacquard, which is so like prominent uh, and it just reflects the badge really fucking well. You've got a tight, like a literal timeless classic sponsor, which I don't even... Do they make cheese or something? I don't yeah, even know what they dairy, do. They make dairy products. Exactly. I don't even care because yeah. it looks so divine. Yeah. Uh, I can even forgive the fact that although the Bologna crest is central in the jacquard for the centre stripe, it's not quite central in the ones beyond that. Um, mm. But the chevron surrounding the Macron uh, logo on the sleeves and then pointing towards the sleeve sponsor, I think would be like a marketing dream as well, just to it being indicative of 
look at our look at our logo, look at our sponsor. Yeah. Um, it's it's stunning. They could have gone a bit like further with putting like a red trim on the collar, but I think it would have detracted from the yeah. overall design. I don't yeah. think they needed to match the uh, cuffs. Um, it's absolutely stunning, and this will no doubt be on a ton of people's lists for top shirt that I want to get this summer. Uh, and Macron, as we'd said earlier, um, are one of those manufacturers that have rose to prominence in recent years and um, rightly at this stage are getting or will continue to get because of this and other shirts a ton of fucking plaudits. So needed to be number one for me. Hated the fact that you threw it in there as a spanner in the works because of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we're just, we're, you're just rejigging the list to put something number one, but it's deservingly <laughs> so number one. Yeah. I, 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 there's no way I could have done a serial list. And obviously not have this thing, regardless of how late it was over the weekend. But I just had to, I just had to put this shirt in. It's absolutely beautiful. Chris, I mean, first view as well, you know, Dom talking about it being, a time machine. I mean, there's only yeah. one name. There's only one name set you can get on the back of this, right? DeLorean '88. I'm guessing. Right? <laughs> yeah. I just, I and Dom, I'm, I'm pleased you said because the only thing I would do is add a little red trim into the collar because <laughs> that just feels very '90s that they would have yeah. had that kind of overindulgence. This is the difference between this shirt, which is, hey, let's take that kind of early '90s. Uh, you know, vibe as the kids would say, and then infuse it with something modern. This literally feels like if someone went, I've just found 5,000 of these dead stock, you would literally think it was a shirt from 1990. The, yeah. the fact that as soon as I looked up Saputo, I was like, of course there's some obscure Italian you know, dairy product, you know, like the same as you know, Buatoni or um, Barella, you know, those those kind of random Italian brands that mean very, very, like I said in, in my tweet, uh, you know, outside of Italy in the 1990s, you wouldn't know what Barella was, Yeah, you know. Um, and Saputo, I was literally looking at it going like, what is that? But it even has that sort of like 90s-esque sort of like style and font. The fact that even little things, here's the thing the little things they do right, Dom. I get entirely what you mean that the central uh logo in the jacquard is central, but the ones on the outsides maybe aren't. I can forgive that when they've got the badge central between two stripes, yeah, Macron yeah. logo central between two stripes. Uh, yeah, I my only downside is that I'm not a big fan of sleeve sponsors. And this one has a tramp stamp sponsor as well, um, <laughs> which you know. For me, do you mean do you mean the Macron logo? No, no, no. The Lava Lavoro P. Well, that's it's so sensitively applied, and it's I, oh it's yeah, not, I, I just, it doesn't I just, distract. This is old man yells at cloud. This is literally <laughs> like, don't put more sponsors on my beloved shirts. Um, it just like it just looks also dark blue and red as well like it's it's a very i'm going to say this now and you probably guess everyone's going to shout back what about these teams but dark blue and red halved shirts i know you've got palace who are blue and blue and red but that the shades of the colors as well just feels really yeah oh, it's just lush isn't it well, there's, a, there's, a, there's a couple in italy already isn't there i, I think yeah. it's a very i think it's a very italian thing isn't it that the darker yeah. blue with the darker red yeah. so you know, I, I i don't know if people We'll know this if I'm just saying this, but uh, double A, you obviously put the the was it Genoa? Yeah, I didn't want to say, but yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's in, fine. In, instead of this one, and the <laughs> thing is, the Genoa one was ranked much lower because I was a bit like, who cares? It's just the same same old shirt. Yeah, this just honestly, it just feels like Dom. You said it absolutely right. Time machine. This is a '90s shirt that is now existing today. Yeah. Yeah, and even as you were talking, I was looking at the shirt so much, I actually scrolled up and went to the Bologna store. Like, <laughs> is it out yet? No, it's not out yet. And I know <laughs> it's not out yet because I have saved on my phone. Like, literally, I've got a handful of things I want to buy. I have it. I have the Macron website up. It's not even out till August. 
And I'm just sat there with it going, come on, come on, yes. come, come on, come on. Day one, must I, I'm rightly, I'm rightly so. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just a stunning oh. shirt. You just like, it. Pick. Whoever took that pick needs to make <laughs> themselves known to people because that is a beautiful, like. It's perfect. That's a, that's a, that's like OnlyFans profile pick. That uh, I got every, every person in the kit community would wishes they could take a picture as good. Yeah, yeah. honestly, oh, that's the best. That's the best. Fo- that's the best photo of a football shirt I've ever seen. It, it encapsulates everything that is beautiful about it. Uh, Sean, only fourth place for you on your list. <laughs> Do you feel like you've had a howlery? I think it's because it was late. Um, I, I love the kit. I love it. Um, I think Roma's was better. Um, is that on the crest, right? Is it raised like an old 90s football kit? Like, do you remember United's was like velvety? Like the 94, 95, 93, 94 was like raised. Is that, am I right or not? Sean, I think what it is, is I I don't think it's stitched. No, it's like, TPU you know. that. It's TPU, you can tell, yeah. It's e- it's either heat pressed or it's one of the you know like the the next one down, which is just the badge itself is, um, like a thin bit of uh, materially sort of thing that they heat press on. Yeah. Uh, right on the picture, it looks like puffy, like the older ones, and I thought that's fucking mint. Um, I, I like it, I like it a lot. So you should. It's our number one shirt this week. It's Bologna, and I, I I'll put it out there. Shirt of the season so far. I think that is the best shirt that's been released so far. I don't think there's anything comes. I don't think there's anything come close to it. To be fair, uh, so there we go. Forty-five points from our rankers uh, this week for Bologna. Well done. A late arrival to the party, but they go home with the best-looking guy or girl um, <laughs> from the party. I guess uh, I'm rambling. <laughs> there's our good friend Marco Arnautovic. Uh, could have been at United, and now he's not, and he gets to play in that. Beautiful kit this season. How how wonderful for him. So thank you for stopping by. There are the scores, as always, just to make sure I don't cheat and I do sit there on a Monday afternoon ranking everyone's scores because I have nothing better to do in my life, it seems. Uh, but no, honestly, thank you mo- so much for stopping by and indulging with us 10 more shirts from the Rank Bank. It's been a good one. I've enjoyed it. Uh, Sean, thank you for being with us uh, and the costume change and all that. What's coming up? Anything going on with you? What's happening? Or Any, any more charity shop hunting? I've not seen anything for a while. Um, oh, actually, yeah. I can't, I've got a Bayern Munich shirt. 12 quid in Altrincham. Okay. Nice. I'll, I'll show that next time. From 95. Don't think we're, don't think we're doing, Jim. From 95? Oh, okay. Yeah. Decent. I'll show. I'll, I'll send it. I thought I sent you a video. Did I not send you a video? Not that. Could, <coughs> maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll, 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 I'll have a look. I'll, I'll, I'll dust it off and show it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's uh, GK Sean one on the Twitter. You've been a bit quiet, but you know, come back to us. Dom, pleasure to have you here as always, mate. The new setup's looking cool. Oh, thanks. Anything going on with you? You want to tell us uh, about? It? No, uh, other than um, on that Altrincham um, vibe, um, I went and watched FC United beat Altrincham 4-1 in a pre-season friendly with National League, Altrincham. Um, yeah. But I'm looking at doing some stuff uh, summer camp-wise at FC and then really looking forward what to what will be tomorrow's opening match for the... Women's World Cup, uh, and I'll be in and about town supporting the Lionesses and generally just getting fucked up. As always, good stuff, mate. I love to, love to hear it. Uh, and finally, our good friend, it's good to have him back with us. Thank you for being here tonight. Chris? That's okay. Um, I'm on, not going to be in Altrincham at any point <laughs> in the future. Fair I enough. have eaten at the Frankie and Benny's just outside Altrincham. Uh, but that was over a decade ago. So if any of you want to go and eat at that Frankie and Benny's outside Altrincham and go, oh, chat shirt, you here once, knock yourselves out. It's a, it's a crack it's a crack den now, mate. You can't know. Oh, well. Is it? It was a crack den then as well. Woo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Uh, so what's going on? What have what you got coming up? What can you tell uh, people? Yeah, I, very pointedly, nothing. Um, uh, I'm I'm in the I'm in the process of uh, uh, assessing chat shirts future right now you need not to bring it back. That's, not, that's not a that's not a cry for help um i uh you've got an appraisal coming up <laughs> yeah a life appraisal um no i i it's uh i i kind of want to get back into doing some more content creation but at the same time mm -hmm. i'm seeing everyone else I, I did a tweet the other day about how spark are coming back with a thing and it's like someone went uh, oh, there's room enough for both of you. Of course there is. However, I'm a lazy, lazy man. Um, <laughs> I could go and watch Rob and Craig knock out the park and I just enjoy it. And I go, ah, oh, I don't, I can't be asked. Um, but I might try and do something longer form because apparently people like hearing me talk. Yeah, we, say, we want to hear you. We want to see yes. you. Yes, yes. Yeah, I was thinking I might do like longer, longer stuff just based around like... Uh, so, for instance, one of the ones on my little notepad that's lost somewhere uh, was the, uh, I wrote it down when that AIK shirt came out um, and I didn't get it. And I was a bit bummed about it because I think it's really, really nice. But then I've got the C triple X one from two years ago, just sat there never to be opened. And so I thought about doing a longer piece on what's the point of collecting if that's what you're going to do with them. <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it. Yeah, I'll watch yeah, it. Watch, yeah. no, you know, just I, I was I, I think the one thing I've noticed about myself in a very kind of weird way is I we tend to do kind of more abstract views on shirts than you know some other people where I kind of go like, oh have you noticed it's a bit blah. uh so I might just sit and ramble for a bit. Good. That's what we, yeah, good, that's what we want, that's what we like, you know. Uh you fit it's well in the shirt. Show. Show. There's some chat, some shirt, but yeah, um, make sure you're following all the guys. The links are always in the description of the video. Um, like the video as well, subscribe to the channel. I think we are so close to 600 at the moment, still not a thousand, which is an absolute disgrace to be honest with you. And you know, sometimes I rant on here, I don't really want to go into a rant and call you all out and really say you should be doing better, but yeah, you should probably be doing better, guys. And subscribing to the channel, we are the greatest football content channel when Chris isn't doing his stuff around. So, you know, make sure you're becoming a kit head um, and be part stuff. of the family. What's that? Much better than my stuff. What are you talking nah. about? You're doing stuff. My stuff's all <laughs> historical. <laughs> Ours is only better because we're doing it. All right. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> 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 but no, we will be back for more full kit rankers and more Desert Island kits uh, soon soon really soon uh but no thank you for stopping by and as always whatever you do just make sure you keep talking kit